Hello everybody, my name's Fansonics, and today I'm going to explain to you people the rules of cricket, because apparently I've heard from all the crazy people around the world that in America they don't really know what cricket is. It's like explaining the rules of Alice in Wonderland, that doesn't make sense. What I mean is, I'm going to explain the rules of cricket with pictures to help you guys understand it, because as a Brit, I feel it is my responsibility to impart this knowledge upon the world. So... Let's start with the teams. There are two teams in cricket. Each team contains 11 players. One team bats, one team bowls. Simple enough so far? Right, perfect, easy. This is kind of where it gets a little complicated because first we have to understand the way the pitch is laid out. Now, the pitch consists of a rectangle inside a giant oval. And the rectangle is where pretty much everything happens. So, the rectangle at each end has wickets. And these wickets are basically like stumps. Actually, they're called stumps. They're like, they're like objectives, if that makes sense. And the batters are supposed to protect this objective from the ball. So they're trying to make sure that the ball does not hit the wicket. And they do that by batting the ball away when the bowler throws the ball at it, if that makes sense. And there's one on either side, so obviously you need two people protecting the wickets. So there's got to be a batter at either side. So the bowler hurls the ball. And it's like, oh shit, it's going towards a wicket. Bam! Batter hits it away. Basic concept, perfect. Now let's get into the idea of points. So we got the basic concept, it's perfect. But now we need to talk about runs. Because the way runs work, it's kind of just like in baseball. You get a home run if you run around all the bases. That's awesome. It's a little different. Because the bowler will bowl from one end to one of the batters. And the batter will hit some away. And when the bowl is away... The, the ball, when the ball is away, the batsmen, both of them, will run to opposite ends of the thing. And every time they get to the on opposite and end, opposite end, they get a run. So if they run there and back, that's two runs perfect. But the bowler does not change position, so the bowler's always batting from the... No, sorry, that was, I just said the ball's always batting. The bowler's always bowling from one side. Um, so if you run on an odd number of runs, say like three, then a different batter's batting, but that's pretty much negligible. So, you, if you're with me so far, batsmen protecting the wickets, the running all over the place, getting points, that's fine. It's pretty simple so far. I don't know how well I'm explaining this, but I'm not redoing it. Okay, awesome. So, now we need to get a little bit more technical. So, I mentioned before that there's a big oval. This is called the field, and in the field, there are fielders. Woo! That's pretty simple. And basically, the fielder's like, oh damn, they hit the ball away. We need to get that wicket down. So what they do is they catch the ball and they lob it back and try and hit the wickets. Or if they catch the ball straight away, straight off the bat. I, wow, I only just understood where that expression came from. But whatever. Um, basically, if they catch the ball right off the bat, boom, they're out. Ha ha, how's that? And the batsman has to leave and they bring a new one in from their 11-man team. But the bowler can't be out because, you know, meh. So the fielder's are like, oh damn, we gotta get these wickets down. But the oval has to have a limit, right? Or a boundary. Boundary, exactly. So if the batsman's like, yeah, there's no way you're hitting this wicket, well, bam! And they smack it way out of the boundary, then they get a six runs just automatically. They can't run, but they get six runs. And, but that's only if the ball doesn't bounce. If the ball does bounce or like rolls over the boundary, then they only get four runs because that's not wabam enough. You with me so far? Awesome. So we've introduced batsmen, points, teams, and runs. You may also know that the bat is a little strange because it's like a plank of wood and the ball is a little strange because it's like a rock. That's because we are primitive as hell. Um... I don't know what else there is to go over. That's all. That's pretty much the rules of cricket. Um, there is one rule that should be mentioned, uh, that's called leg before wicket, and most British people don't even understand that. But the way it works is, the batsman has a special position that he bats in, you know? And I'll send a picture here. Oh, that's how the batsman bats. That's easy. But if you'll notice, his back leg is there, and it's kind of in a strange position. That's because if the ball goes behind the bat as it flies through, and hits the guy's leg, then it, he's out, because... The rule is that if his leg, his back leg, stop the ball from hitting the wicket and causing him to go out anyway, that's illegal and he's out. And there's, the last thing I want to mention is wicket keepers. There's a wicket keeper on the, on the opposite end of the bowler because the bowler's a dumbass and he just launches the ball way too hard 
But if the wicket keeper, this is where it gets kind of weird. If the wicket keeper misses the ball once the ball has bowled it, and the ball rolls out of the boundary to a four, then the other team get a four. I know it's crazy, but it's weird. But that's pretty much, in summary, the rules of cricket. I'm just going to summarize really, really, really fast. Two teams of 11. One team bat the ball away from the wickets. One team throw the ball at the wickets. If the batsmen get it out of the boundary, they get four to six points, depending on if it bats. They have to run on either side to try and get as many runs as they can, but remind you that there's two batsmen because they need two wickets to be protected. Also, one thing I didn't remember is that, um... Like, once a batsman can stay in until he, like, gets bowled out. So he can stay in forever. Technically, he can get infinite amount of points, but he can choose to retire and just give up if he's got, like, loads and loads and loads of runs for his team. Um, and the very last thing is overs. After every seven bowls, uh, every time the ball is thrown seven times, there's an over. So the bowler switches to the other side of the rectangle, the other end of the rectangle, and all the fielders switch side because they want the other batsman to get enough hits or whatever. I don't know. It's a crazy game. But um, I hope this has gotten your understanding of cricket way stronger, but it probably hasn't because I'm not retaking this. Also, you may notice that my voice sounds all accurate, and that's because I bought a new microphone. Oh, it's so awesome. But you'll hear in a model out. <laughs> what? This is the first time I've seriously messed up. You'll hear more about that next time. So I'll see you guys in next week, and I hope you have a great time. One thing I want to quickly mention is that after every seven bowls, which is an over normally, um, a new bowler is put into place uh, from the field because, you know, otherwise it would be unfair. And here in Britain, we like to be nice and fair. And the final thing, which is actually really important, is the fact that um, if someone on the fielding team thinks that someone on the batting team should be out, like if the wickets uh, got knocked over or the ball was caught, then everyone has to shout, ah, and the umpire's like, yup. Um, I don't know why. It, like, it means, how's that? And the umpire's like, sure, it's fine. But it turns into, ah, <laughs> that. I don't know. We, we, I'm like, I always thought cricket was quite a normal thing, but then upon reading out the rules, not reading, because I'm just doing these from my head, upon like saying the rules out loud and trying to explain it, I realize how weird it seems. So I apologize if I was mean to anyone who doesn't understand cricket, but otherwise, have a great day and I'll see you next week. Bye!